ओके सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज कंस्ट्रक्टर चेनिंग ओके कंस्ट्रक्टर चेनिंग here i will create one more class sorry one more package and name this constructor chaining it will be easy to understand you if you have revised or attended the last session otherwise it will be difficult so here what i will do new class i will just see, take a simple class class a b c and main actually only required two classes and main class and you guys need to pay attention here because uh, this concept is really simple but if you not pay attention then it becomes difficult and the main class okay so so is coming and this is main class if you check here then it will create a main method for you and remove this comment to do auto generated method okay and save this i will go to class a okay i will first i will explain the concept then i will ask you guys about what will be the output okay so please pay attention here so suppose this is a class a class b and there is a main class class a has some method or maybe not methods we don't require methods to explain uh, understand this concept uh, you all know that what is constructor so constructor is same as the class name okay but constructor do not have any return type it anybody ask you this question what is constructor so your answer should be that what i have given just now okay so constructor is same as class name but it does not have any return type always join on time guys it disturbs whole class you guys coming in between okay so here this is a default constructor you all know that whether i write this constructor or not write this constructor this must code is already written okay so if i write a message here i am just re uh, recalling the constructor okay then i will come to that concept constructor chaining and here you can see i will write a message a class default constructor okay and one more cons constructor i can declare here with the same name but this will be the parameterized constructor and there i pass the parameter in the constructor and just uh, print that parameter inside the constructor name is name okay so whenever someone will be passing any variable any name then this constructor will be called and this name will be printed okay and i will print i will call another constructor integer a okay and just print this integer value just i am declaring 
different different constructor in this in this uh, class okay so you can see name sorry value because integer will not have any name okay value is equal to plus value oh sorry not value it's a okay so what this concept is called multiple constructor inside a class is constructor overloading okay same way if you have multiple methods like this then you it's called method overloading but method must have the return type i have not covered that concept yet i will cover that later but we need to understand this constructor chaining okay so constructor chaining me uh, if we we need to understand first we need to know what is constructor i already explained in the previous class just recalling for you guys that constructor is same as the class name but it does not have any return type okay so if anybody ask you what is the different bis difference between constructor and the method then the simple answer is that that constructor does not have any return type whereas method should have the return type constructor is same name as the class name but there is no boundation for method that it should be also same as the class name or oh, method can have any name okay but the constructor the uh, constructor actually must have the same as the class name so this is simple class we have three constructor one i am passing a string as a parameter second i am passing the integer as a parameter and the, this one is the default constructor but explicitly i have written a message here okay in the default constructor there is only this part open and close parenthesis okay guys please yes uh this is the same batch 9 o'clock and covered already the constructor maybe you have not attended this session because i already explained all this thing calling of constructor if you can see july batch and creating an object here you can see this constructor this constructor okay uh, maybe okay yeah. or if you missed then i am again explaining here okay so there is other class c first of all uh, you should understand that constructor chaining is only possible using inheritance okay means uh, if there is inheritance there is a inheritance in between two classes then only the constructor chaining come will come in the picture otherwise it will not coming in the picture okay so class b extends a okay now the class b is extending class a and let me create two more constructors in class b i will copy from here and just paste and just change the name y2 let's create three uh, if you want two then two and just change the names here and then b class b to differentiate the classes and then here b okay 
now let me come here and call the and create the object for class b okay and uh, i am creating the object for class b is equal to new b okay let me do one thing this class b is child extending this class a so this is parent okay by default inside every class whether you write or not this code is written inside every method not uh, sorry inside every constructor this code is written and only inside constructor not inside method not inside class okay guys give me a sec help okay so here super and this super code written by default okay inside every constructor whether it is default constructor whether it is parameterized constructor doesn't not matter if you are extending the child class always have written this code okay even a is also child class okay because for all cl classes parent is object class okay object class uh, actually returns also have some uh, features J if i you press control in your keyboard and see this mouse are open declaration open implementation just click on this and you will come here and what what this object class have you can see here it has final method it has has code it has equals when you compare two strings anybody ask you from here dot equals you are comparing then this will compare okay it also has uh, multiple things see this native object cloning if you want to do two string <coughs> method you must have heard about this two string when you will understand about pojo class then we'll see dot to string so all this coming from where is coming from the object class only so even this class is extending object class i have not written anything but this code is written by default so whatever is written by default if is coming in my mind i am telling you here okay now the question is anybody if attending the classes seriously then this question may occur sir you are saying that uh, class is extending class a and b will be also extending class b yes but in that case if you explicitly define that parent is a then object class is not inherited by this class b okay only if you are not explicitly defining for any class otherwise uh, it's extending when you write like extends a then that is overriding that class okay so don't be confused any time so just forget about that thing you don't need to require all these mm, things because it, you are not expected to answer this question by interviewer going for automation interview okay so here a class and class b okay so i have written and created object for class b now tell me what will be the output yes uh, somebody has written vignesh maybe explain again about uh, super key uh, nothing mm.
wait 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 let me come back again into this one by default it's written code okay you need to under not need to understand anything on this if you are inside a constructor either I even if I comment this code then this is written by default in editor or in the Java uh, functionality that it is written by default I am writing it explicitly because uh, once let me write it explicitly and then I will remove this code and then you will understand the output is same so it means that code is written by default inside the child class okay so uh, just to make it clear so I call this class new b equal to new b so what are your outputs what are your outputs first what will be the it uh, tell me sequentially tell me the output actually I, I will open uh, the class you want For yes okay 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 so you mean to say that I have called b b is equal to new b it will go to first class b constructor okay it will go to class B constructor there it will find super so for for this default constructor its super will be super only so wait let yes how it defines that it will call the default constructor only because of course uh, I am not passing any parameter here just simple this super means super if I pass any parameter here then it will try to match uh, with the constructor having parameters but it does not have any parameter even if this one is also let me just come to the output first then I will understand just when I call this new b then b class constructor is invoked it will go to b class constructor b class default constructor because i am passing nothing over here okay so if i am passing nothing over here it means the default constructor so it will go to default constructor okay there yeah please mute yourself so here it is so so here if i am passing nothing here so it will go to default constructor of its parent class okay just a minute let me explain first then come with your questions okay so here I am passing nothing over here so if I am passing no parameters then of course it is uh, the default constructor calling okay this is not for method calling okay this is only for the constructor calling if you are writing super keyword so it will go for its super class and which is the super class which class it is extending extending to A it will go to class A and default constructor okay so here it will come and print a class default constructor and then come back to the previous uh, li uh, line of code it's super and then it will be to b class constructor uh, default constructor so first of all its output will be a class default constructor and then b class default constructor let me run it running from the main only you can see a class default constructor and b class default constructor 
okay so what if i remove this super keyword so if my statement is correct that by default this code is written then the output should be same you can check your output first the previous output a class default constructor and b if class and now i will call again you can see output is same it means whether you explicitly write this super or not write this code is already written okay now what if i pass any parameter here suppose i pass a string parameter pass my name okay so what will happen it will go to this class new b so it will call default constructor it will go to b and it will call default constructor okay default constructor but in the first line of the default constructor is written super bundle so what it is saying that call the constructor having a string as a parameter so it will go to a super class a and there it will find a string as a parameter this one so it will print this line okay this uh, constructor name is i have passed bandan and then it will come back to its previous line in the previous uh, line is that uh, class b name is name uh, sorry it it was called called here i have called the default constructor okay so in it went to default constructor it has printed that string and and then b class default constructor so b class default constructor it has printed and b class default constructor let me run this name is bandan and b class default constructor okay let's guys give me a second actually somebody open the tab and water is wasting so here just give me a second mm -hmm. so i'm back okay so anybody has any doubt till now then ask me am audible yeah so anybody has any doubt till now so i assume that everybody got yes yes yes, yes. tell me tell me just i i'll do okay in the class level or in the constructor okay okay so what does it mean means uh, just uh, have actually i don't get your question explain me line by line what you want yes i kept 
Espera. No, 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 just come point by point. Uh, you have uh, what we have done, just declared this parameter and let me print this parameter here, okay? Picture gets more clear, okay? A is equal to suppose 5, okay? Now you want that you want to call parameter x constructor of class b or class a okay so here you call only default okay here you call only default and in the default you simply pass super suppose 10 okay you have passed this 10 so what will happen it will just go in the this one and then it will come here uh, it will go to this and then go and call the uh, constructor which ha has one as a parameter you if you don't want to call this okay you want to call default right so here what will happen it will why it will not in initialize see uh, whatever written inside this uh, constructor will be will that code will be uh, that code will be running uh, of course whatever you write mm, uh, it does not mean that if you write this is a default constructor everything okay okay so let me t uh, tell me what i should do here mm. okay b dot java this one but your uh, okay if you are passing this your default constructor constructor will not be invoked what no 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 you are calling b class default constructor understand okay i will run this code uh, this b class default constructor so th it will go to class b okay it will go to class b and because you are c calling the default constructor of class b it will come to this uh, block okay whatever written in this block it will invoke that code so first line it will find that super vandan so it means it will try to find a constructor inside its parent class which have string uh, one string as a parameter so it will go to this class a and the in this class a it will come here okay and print this line it has nothing to do with this uh, okay a okay let me run and you will understand you can see nothing to do with the default constructor of class a okay okay and just let me put put a debugger here if i can go also for the constructor not able to java application i hope you all guys know debugging switch to debug mode and then let just and you can see I just click on step over F or press F6 then come to this line and print this but let me just do it again I want to actually go inside this so press this step into so step into means okay and just for this line for method it's not allowed otherwise i could show you uh, going internally because calling of newbie okay so i will put a debugger here instead of there 
put a debugger here and remove from here because we know that first of all we call only that you can see first it came where in this place super because nothing is printed in the console means came here okay so now what i want that if it came here then i should go inside this me me method calling or uh, constructor calling so simple is that if you press f6 then it will execute all this whatever is a thousand line of code written inside this super constructor then it is executed and come to line number eight but if i want to go inside this method and want to execute every line there then i should go for a step into f5 so i will press this so i came where see can line number 11 your debugger is where so line number 11 it it does not went to this okay so what does it mean it directly went to the constructor you called not you expected okay now if i go and see line number 13 and then if i go you can see this has been executed name is one then and if i press again f6 it came back to line number eight okay and if i execute line number eight it has printed this if i again do this f6 then it went back to my previous so automatically this one so that way you can understand what's happening behind the scene yes f6 for a step by step and if you want to go inside a, you can see there is calling a me method or is its constructor actually but if if you want to go inside this so you just press f5 okay so if you press f5 you will went inside of this method here and it will suppose here 100 lines written and you just press f6 so it will directly come to line number 8 after executing f6 so between the uh, line number 50 of suppose here in, in this uh, you have written 100 line and 50 line line number 50 has error so right so you will not able to debug that line so come inside if you want to execute line by line and if you want to execute all the method just press f6 Uh, depends on the requirement actually it's not like that because if you have requirement sometimes for calling this uh, default sometimes you have to call parameterized all we should have according to your requirement this I am just explain I am just explaining this but all depends on your requirement what you are saying is that in this class B in this class A I do not have any parameterized constructor okay. of course it will give you error because if you are calling something and it's not present in the class then it will be uh, showing you an error uh, just let me comment this code and here I am calling and here I am calling inside this uh, wait I have commented in class B by mistake and here let me pass uh, just this variable name okay and there I will comment this string constructor then it will throw you an error and it will also explain that error to you what explanation you can see uh, just keep your mouse over this and it will see remove argument of match a uh, to match a 
okay either from that constructor here uh, either from this you need to remove this argument okay or you it is suggesting s all those uh, solutions for you and the second is change constructor a integer to a string or the you second constructor inside class a which is actually integer you need to convert into the string or it's saying change constructor a add parameter string okay or the first constructor default you pass there the string either change type of name into well, all those solution it it is suggesting you it's saying that either write a string here a string parameter here or change this as a string parameter or remove from uh, this uh, string from here all those solution is suggesting for you by the ide so if you are not you are calling the string constructor here and that is not present so it of course it will throwing you an error so as of now i'm just uh, uncommenting this okay so i hope this constructor chaining concept is clear for you guys now the question is why multiple inheritance is not possible in java first reason i already explained diamond problem in the uh, second last session and the now i am explaining why multiple uh, inheritance is not possible because suppose i have another class over here just create class d extends or let me just uh, remove all this and then i will create a uh, Let me delete this one. suppose class a has default constructor a okay class b has default constructor b whether you define or not this code is already written guys just give me a second i'll be back please somebody guys the door
so back here a b and this parent class c now suppose this wants to call although it's not allowed but let me call a comma b what is multiple inheritance i already explained in the last session that one class want to extend extends inherit multiple classes so here class c is trying to inherit two classes a and the b although it's a syntactical error because it is not allowed in java so here you can see that it is not allowing to call this multiple classes okay why it's not allowing allowing suppose uh, i want to extend these two classes so how this uh, c class will decide that which class uh, just like i have explained you it will be confused that uh, which class default constructor it should invoke either for a class default uh, constructor or for b class default constructor so there is a problem that b class also has the default constructor a class also has the default constructor now which class default constructor it should invoke it is not uh, uh, actually uh, in a de in decision making situation uh, this problem is called constructor chaining problem uh, due to this multiple inheritance is not allowed in java so the last problem was the diamond problem and this problem is the constructor chaining problem i hope everybody got it anybody has any doubt on this then ask me because you need, you understand already it if i will try to make object for this then uh, the c in for this class there is a written if anybody uh, want explanation for this in the interview then you can say that sir in this situation uh, c class default constructor first line of code is written super so now it is confused super for class a or super for class b because uh, it is co uh, extending both of the classes okay so uh, this is the problem here the constructor chaining problem due to this the multiple inheritance is so simple if anybody ask uh, why multiple inheritance is not possible in java the th uh, concept starts from here that is java is a fully object oriented language answer is no then the question is why uh, then the answer is because multiple inheritance is not possible in java okay why it is not possible there are two reasons uh, diamond problem and the constructor chaining problem nobody will ask you uh, after this but if uh, sometimes people ask when you must reply about the diamond problem that I explained you in the last session and this constructor chaining problem that I explained you today okay anybody has any doubt then ask me then I'll move forward clear for everyone okay so let me just remove this one and then come back to our topic overriding okay multiple inheritance okay child name and there is parent so child class uh, this is a last class example or uh, just uh, remove this and come to multi level example there it will picture will be more clear for you guys why write that code again and again we already had that code okay so this class a this is multi level inheritance example for the last session you can see there is a class a where class a have two methods 
m1 and m2 there is a class b m m1 and m4 okay i already explained about this at the rate override and this and that class c has this m5 m m6 methods okay now question is i don't want to extend all of the methods coming in the class b c so class c has six methods four coming from class b two of its own and two coming from inheritance of the class a so total it has four methods and c has six methods i only want two there is a class a class a is called by class b class a is saying that i have my password username this is stored inside one of my method and i have two methods and in in my m1 method i have stored my username password although you have written uh, this two lines only a single this single line code only in this side this method but in the real time uh, things may be different uh, things may be private okay things which not need to not need to shared by other classes so what is trying this a class is thinking that i am not comfortable with sharing method a i am comfortable with sharing method b with the other classes or oh sorry m2 with the other classes and not comfortable to share m1 with the other classes because these are my private things so what it will do but it should be uh, able to call this uh, methods okay it should be able to uh, inherit this class okay so there is a keyword final okay this is very famous interview question topic final keyword what is the use of final keyword first understand it if you put this final keyword before a class okay then it means class cannot be inherited okay means that class is not eligible for inheritance if you put this final keyword before a method that means you cannot override that method okay and if you put final before a variable that means that variable becomes constant okay but the problem is i don't want to share that method okay and if i will final that method uh, final that class all the method cannot be called because that class is not eligible for inheritance i will explain in the code also if i put final bef before a method then it is saying that you cannot override that method but that method is elis uh, that method is present in your class but you cannot override you cannot change that implementation coming from the inheritance means child class has to be restricted in that level of implementation only which is implemented by parent okay and the next thing is for variables but my task is that i want to uh, i i don't want i i'm not try, i'm sorry I, i don't want to allow that access to that class b okay so there is also one keyword private question comes from here also what is the difference between final and private so if you declare a method as private then that will not be going to the class b means it will not be going to the parent class uh, sorry child class b okay it is restricted to that class a only accessibility of to the class level only but if you declare as final then the that method will be accessed by class b 
but class B will not be able to change its implementation. Let's come to the code. So I'll paste this. I'll paste these uh, notes in the chat box. You guys can copy it. Let's understand first final. Suppose I make this M2 met M1 method as final. Uh, sorry, first let's make M1 M2 as final. Okay, so there is no error. Okay because m2 is not present here let me declare it as one more method m2 remove this at the rate override otherwise there will be confusion m2 is present in class a class b is inheriting this m2 okay no problem in inheriting but it is saying that it is final okay it is saying that it is final and if it is final then why you are changing its implementation you see the line of code is different even if whatever you write here you are not allowed to do that if you comment this okay and you want to call I have created the object for class C class A has two methods M1 M2 class B has two methods M1 M4 class C has two methods M5 and M6 now understand one thing I am calling the object of class C okay so I should be able to call this M2 also okay M2 because M2 through through inheritance M2 is going to class B okay although you are not able to restructure that method you are not able to change the implementation of the method if you write here that means you are trying to change the implementation but if it is coming through inheritance that I must be able to call that method so I will call C dot m2 you can see coming from where class a okay you can understand simple thing that c does not have m2 method b also does not have the m2 method a has m2 method and calling object for c so how c has that method because b is extending a and c is extending b so b has by default that m2 method through inheritance when c is trying to inherit b it will be we have that m2 method through inheritance and i am calling object for c so c has that method but if i explicitly want to define that method then i will not able to call this because uh, you can see that remove final modifier from a dot m2 because you cannot override the final method from a this is eclipse this is eclipse id answer to you that you will not able to call this because this is final okay so i hope you understand the final keyword anybody has any doubt Okay, so I hope that you guys understand. Now let me comment this. Okay, and let this code as it is. Instead of final, let me make it as private. 
you will get an error and what error just go to this main and then keep your mouse over this change visibility of m2 into to package means either change is to public either change is to protected or remove the private keyword this two three answers for you okay because if you make it as private okay if you make this as private okay class b knows that it has one method i have to extend that but that is private so it is not allowing to extend me c is extending b all thing is coming but m2 is not coming because i make that m2 as private okay so private you will uh, private if you declare any method then it will be allowing to accept that cl class level only either create the object for class a or just remove this private keyword if you want to create the object for class c here okay so if you make the object for class c a then you will able to call that okay try that after this session anybody has any doubt on this okay i assume everybody got clearance so here constructor chaining is done final is done private is done constructor chaining yes what if we want to declare private class class may not be private okay let's save it and you can see the error invalid modifiers illegal modifier for class a only public abstract and final are per permitted okay yes constructor is uh, uh, so i can also say like this that method is kind of constructor something like that is it okay no no wait 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 no 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 wait wait nothing is similar here concept are different you cannot compare constructor with the method i am saying that constructor is kind of method but it, i i can say in that we have that method is a kind of constructor uh, these questions actually uh, if you answer in that way then the concepts are not clear now your question what is your question you want to apply final on constructor you can apply final on two places only you are not allowed to uh, declare final before a constructor if you d uh, means what how you can decide that the object is not the final class i have explained you today about the object class uh, it is not actually the right uh, syntax okay you can try yes yes inheritance it is not related to inheritance you all know that every class uh, by default call it super class constructor okay so suppose i have only one class class a so a is trying to call the super class of constructor means object class constructor it does not have any parent class by default parent is object so if you try to final that then how then no it's not allowed okay although it's a good question but uh, it is not allowed here yes 
see if you declare this private then accessibility of this uh, uh, of this method will be in that class level only it means if you want to call this method then you need to create the object for this class a only through creating this object of class c you will not able to call, a, uh, call this method because this method uh, is saying that i will be ex giving my accessibility to only my father not this child's okay means create my object to call me okay okay so you guys you want to take break for 10 minutes then take i will just take a break for 10 minutes okay which workplace uh, actually previously we have a website but uh, as of now that is accessibility from the For that we have the Google Classrooms also. Actually, okay, I I will add all all of you send an email to join that Google Classroom. Okay, they will share. Okay, just take a ten minutes break. Uh, Eleven twenty will meet again. Yes. 